reflections on giving. We are reflecting on Mark chapter 12, 38 to 44. Ang ating pong uh, reflection is on the 32nd Sunday of Ordinary Time. Uh, talaga pong yung religion natin in our religious life would always, of course, require a lot of expressions, manifestations of prayer, of giving, of worship, and uh, different expressions of something that must come from within. And Jesus said everybody would know that, but that's why you notice Jesus is quite uncomfortable when, and even very sharp in criticizing religious action, any religious actions that do not come from a sincere heart or an authentic faith from within. Parang you can, actually you can detach action and what is in your heart. No? Parang pwede ka nang darasal, pero sa kalooban mo, yung isip mo, naglalaro sa labas, so wala doon. Or you are, you have another pretext or another motivation in doing it. Kaya nga sabi nga ni Jesus eh, beware of the scribes who go around with long robes, accept greetings in marketplaces, this, the seats of honor in synagogues, and honors of banquets, the places of honor at banquets. Jesus questions the sincerity of the religious actions that are only pretext something from, for something that is untrue, no? Nanggigigil dating Jesus dito sa gospel. Eh. Even di ba sabi ni Jesus, do not let your right hand know what your left hand is doing when you are giving. Ganun ka, ka sincere si Jesus that you don't have to make a show out of it. Eh, maybe it's also fitting for us to have a reflection on different perspectives of, 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 of giving. Eh, una yung reflection mo natin, give until it hurts. <laughs> Kumisan yung magbigay tayo na talagang natatamaan yung budget natin. Kumisan yung parang nababawasan yung comfort natin. I mean, when you say giving here, it's not only financial, it's not only material. But when you give your time, no? and you give your, your support for a certain good cause. And then second, give until it no longer hurts. When our giving is already part of our lifestyle, or giving is already part of our culture. Kasama sa budget yan. Bibigay natin at bibigay. It no longer hurts. Yan ang buhay natin. Pero ito yung pinakamaganda, yung katlo. Give until it is the source of your joy. Yung parang, di ba meron tayong expression? Kanyara, gumawa ka ng kabutihan. Tapos, eh, salamat ha. Thank you very much. Tapos, the pleasure is mine. And maybe that must be a true answer when you really are happy when you keep, when you share. At sana makarating tayo dito sa ikatlog. We are so happy when we see what we give is really from the bottom of our hearts. From a faith that is really sharing in what is really a Christian way of life. Ito po yung ating reflections. Uh, I hope you can reflect with us. You can also participate in your own reflection. And ito po yung magiging kadkwentuhan natin sa Minotite. Pahinggan ho natin ang ating gospel. Judge Jobay Mercado will, uh, will uh, proclaim to us the gospel. Mark chapter 12, 38-44. Pagbasa mula sa Ibanghelyo, ayon kay San Marcos. Noong panahong iyon, sinabi ni Jesus sa kaniyang pagtuturo, Mag-ingat kayo sa mga eskriba na mahilig maglalakad ng may mahahabang kasuutan at natutuwang pagpugayan sa mga liwasan. Ang ibig nila'y ang mga tanging luklukan sa mga sinagoga at mga upuang pandangal sa mga piging. Inuubos nila ang mga kabuhayan ng mga babaing balo at sinasangkalay ang pagdarasal ng mahaba. 
lalo pang bibigat ang parusa sa kanila. Umupo si Jesus sa tapat ng hulugan ng mga kaloob doon sa templo at pinagmasdan ang mga taong naghuhulog ng salapi. Maraming mayayamang naghulog ng malalaking halaga. Lumapit naman ang isang babaing balo at naghulog ng dalawang kusing na katumbas ng isang pera. Tinawag ni Jesus ang kanyang mga alagad at kanyang sinabi, Sinasabi ko sa inyo, ang dukhang balong iyon ay naghulog ng higit sa kanilang lahat, sapagkat ang ibay nagkaloob ng bahagi lamang nang hindi na nila kailangan, ngunit ibinigay ng balong ito na dukhang dukha ang buo niyang ikabubuhay. Ang mabuting balita ng Panginoon. Reflections on Giving. Kasama niyo po kami dito sa Men of Life from Mark chapter 12:30 to 44 ng ating gospel. Thank you to our uh, friend uh, who proclaimed my gospel for us, Judge Jovay Mercado. Ito po si Father Deo Gala. I'm reflecting and sharing with you from uh, our chapel office at uh, St. Joseph Club. At ito po si Peter Henson, uh, tag, uh, St. Joseph the Worker Chapel din po sa Clark. Bong Roque po, kasama niyo ulit sa Men of Light. Samahan niyo po kami dahil uh, itong Reflections on Giving ni Father Deo ay malaman. Ha, salamat po. And uh, of course, we are with Father Jonathan, our director, editor, our technical person behind the scene. At uh, we continue our reflection muna, yung giving until it works. Uh, parang siyempre, pag nagbibigay tayo, totoo naman. Kung talagang pagbibigay yan, talagang dudukot ka na hindi lang token, di ba? Pero yung token kasi, yung excess, sabi nga, yung parang malaki pero excess lang sa mga mayaman. Yun yung comment ni Jesus. Eh. Very observant si Jesus. Eh. Siguro mo pa, tingnan pa, parang medyo kwento-kwento rin si Jesus. Parang magkikipag-kwento-kwento <laughs> siya sa mga nagbibigay. Na-notice na, na, na nga yun, yung uh, mayayaman na nagbigay out of their excess. Pero when we give until it hurts, it means talagang you don't just give out as a token of giving. And uh, it, re- it is a reality that it, it could entail sacrifice for whoever wants to follow me must carry his cross and follow me. And that is giving up your own comfort and even sometimes our financial um, stability or capacity, di ba? <laughs> Gusto ko po yung sequence niya, Father Deo. Kasi ang, ang, the way you structured it, part one is giving until it hurts. And then it no longer hurts. And then it becomes a source of joy. I want to believe, uh, Brother Peter and Father Deo, na, na phase ito eh. Phase, uh, hindi, hindi ka abod sa phase two na it no longer hurts until dumaan ka muna sa phase one. Kasi man is not naturally generous. It, it, he, may, may, kaya pag nagbibigay ka sabi nga ni Father Deo sa, dun sa first phase, masakit eh. Halimbawa, uh, I'll, I'll give a perfect example as a family man. Nung po mag-boyfriend po kami ni Lisa, Brother Peter and, and Father Deo, kung may kakain kami sa labas, ako sigurado may gusto kong parte ng manok. For example, leg sa kanya, uh, white meat. No? So, palagi kami ganun. Aba, nung naging mag-asawa kami at nagkaroon kami ng anak, meron na kaming ibang anak na gusto ng ng leg yung gusto ko so so ang ang susunod na tanong ko pag ayan na si shared meal na anak ano yung inyong parte na, ano yung parte na ayaw ninyo ganun na does it hurt of course it does it does but it takes a little sacrifice eh, nag nagbago na yung hindi na kayo mag boyfriend lang tatay ka na so you 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 give sacrificially already kahit masakit Sabi nga ng ano, among din, Brother Peter, di ba kasabihan sa, ng mga Pilipino, isusubo mo na lang 
ibibigay mo pa sa anak mo. Diba? Uh, ganun po sa akin sa experience ko bilang magulang yung giving until it hurts. Ako, napasin ko itong dalawang kasama ko. Nagpapaaral ng mga anak ko. At saka yung mga eskwelahan nila, hindi lang ordinary eskwela. <laughs> I'm sure uh, ako matandang binata. <laughs> Pero sila sigurado yung parang sa'yo na to eh. Income mo na to, savings mo na to. Gusto mong mabiling laptop, sana. Pag... Pero you really have to to give it. And of course, you, you it must come from that process of sinasabi nga, we are designed for survival, siguro. Yung mga, yung mga pre-dominant uh, or pre-existing, uh, ano yung tawag doon? Yung, yung parang nature natin. Yung natural na parang you have to protect what yeah. you have. Yeah. Uh, among, uh, Father Deo, bago ko po ibigay kay, kay, kay Brother Peter, along that line, yung po sinasabi nyo, di po, di po ba ang bata, naturally, hindi yan magsishare eh. Di ba? Kasi yung sinasabi nyo parang survival, uh, ang, ang pagmaliit na bata, ay yung magshare ng toy niya, di ba, Brother Peter? Ganun ang mga pagbata, pag maliliit. Eh. Yeah. They don't want to share. Akin yan eh, akin yan. But but later on, they, they learn that, you know, ah, ganito pala yan. It, it, uh, it, it's meant to be shared. But you only la- uh, learn that later on in life. Brother Peter? Yeah. Ako naman, uh, among, and, uh, attorney, uh, meron po akong ano, uh, parang different perspective sa, sa, sa pinag-uusapan natin ito. No? And I want to ask sana a question. Kasi uh, like for example, in uh, yung, yung reference natin to giving to be recognized and acknowledged. Uh, I'm a member of Rotary, and in Rotary kasi, uh, uh, you are parang requested to donate at least $1,000. No? Malaking bagay po yun. And aside from that, you have to contribute sa mga projects year in, year out. No? Na mga, no? And the only way you get parang uh, appreciated is uh, you'll be recognized and acknowledged with the PIN in a recognition ceremony uh, during conventions. No? And... Uh, in fact, also in Rotary, uh, when you do projects, dapat meron kayong pictures na proof na may ginawa kang project. No? Uh, tanong ko lang among, how do you reconcile this, ano, yung acts na to na, you know, giving without the other hand knowing? That's true. Uh, yun yung sinasabi mo the second part. It is a corporate giving. Hmm. Uh, corporate giving is documented. It's even budgeted. And it's also recognized. And publicized. Publicize. Kasi kailangan eh. Kahit kami, uh, Tony Bong, uh, Brother Peter, nung nasa social action kami, hanggang naman ngayon sa simbahan, when you receive something, like ngayon, may darating na ayuda, or from a Saint Scholastic uh, batch, 81 yata, na mag, uh, mag medical mission sila, ay dental mission, at saka gift giving, we have to document it. Kasi binibigay eh. And that's actually part of the second second reflection natin, Mama. Yeah. Yeah. When we keep until it no longer hurts. Yeah. Because it's expected from us. It's organizational. Yeah. Even, uh, even some, for some, so social action is even professional. May come in a professional social welfare uh, uh, organizers. Uh, they interview poor people. And they prioritize how much budget that way. Kasi, pwede rin kasi tumutulong tayo, pero hindi nakakatulong. Tulong yeah. na. Yeah. Pero uh, among Deo, if I, if I may go back to the part one, you were about, uh, you were saying po a while ago, that, you know, there is a certain giving that that doesn't hurt. Yung, yung may kapalit. Di po ba sinasabi? Yeah. But, um, of course, the midterms, midterm elections is upon us. So, yeah. you, you were mentioning that, among Deo. So, sabi nga natin, instinct, tip sa atin na uh, we don't really naturally give sa binatorni pero kasi nagbibigay naman kaya lang there are strings attached no <laughs> kasi they they know someday parang investment din no? uh, they will be recognized and acknowledged and someday like like the scribes they are doing it for show and uh, there are instances giving is in the context of early days uh, campaigning yeah. And the beginning of election season. Yeah. Giving can also be a political action or can be politically motivated. Giving does not hurt them because someday it can become some kind of a 
political investment. Someday, hopefully, they will be uh, a bigger game. So can uh, be, uh, be realized. No? I, I hope it's not all of them. But allegedly, there is one. So, uh, giving until it hurts is something that is uh, from the perspective of Kai Pinyere. Sa Rotary, sabi nga ni Brother Peter, uh, that is uh, expected. Pumasok ka dyan and uh, you are expected to give this uh, $1,000 for membership and a certain amount. Pero we know naman, Rotary is giving this out of goodwill. No, not out of political political reason. Kaya di ba, Brother Peter, isan baka nagkaka-conflict yung mga meron kayong kasama politicians tapos sasama sa inyong mga goodwill uh, programs. Yeah. Nagkakaroon ng reaction sa iba kasama nyo. That's true. Because we know. Kasi $1,000 from your pocket is also masakit din yun. <laughs> it's not shit. No? And uh, the, the, the other 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 projects that you will be funding. So maganda po yung kwentuhan natin. Uh, kasi maraming ano yan, maraming uh, facet yung perspective of giving. Kaya punta po tayo sa ikalawa. Uh, we will was for a while, pero yung the next part is give until it no longer hurts. Um, dagdagan mo natin yung pentuhan natin. Please participate in our reflection and I hope uh, it will add up to our the richness of our understanding of giving. Magbabalik po men of light after a few moments. Thank you for staying with us dito sa Men of Light. Kasama niyo pa rin po, Padre Deo, and of course, Attorney Bong Roque, and our brother, Peter Henson. Ang ating kwentuhan is uh, reflections on giving. <laughs> yung kalawa, uh, I mean, sabi nga natin, hindi masyadong instinct sa atin yung magbigay. Uh, we, we usually are designed to survive. Pinakauna ano natin, to keep something for you to, to protect your future and your need or to survive from, para kung meron man, sobra na nang bibigay. Because survival is immediate instinct sa atin. Pero Christianity sometimes runs contrary to immediate expressions of, of uh, survival. When we see that the other person is not a threat. But our brother or sister, that's why it's, it no longer hurts sharing as part of our life. In fact, it could be giving itself as an end in itself. It's not a mean. Kamukha nung sinabi natin, nagbibigay ka for some game. Uh, but this time, you give because you have to. It's it's yeah. part of our life. Mm. It's it's a culture already. Like tithing. Sa mga, mayroon ako kilalang families in their religious expression of their giving, we call it tithing. A certain percentage of their income, they, they give it to the church. That's automatic, no question. And uh, it becomes some kind of a culture even to their children. And when we say giving naman dito, it's also not only financial. It can also be your, their, their time, their voluntary time, their service to, to the church and even to the community. And uh, at all, how, how do you see that for, from your perspective also? Kasi kayo, and you're also sharing, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, gusto ko bago ko po sagutin yan, Father Day, ang ganda lang ng punto ni Brother Peter kanina, yung yung joining an organization. Uh, tapos alam mo kasi that you are required. Pero dito kasi sa part 2 natin, ito yung nagbibigay ka without compulsion. You just want to give. Of course, initially, sabi nga, Father Day and Brother Peter, parang face yan eh. Una, masakit. And then it comes to a point na hindi na, hindi na masakit. At hindi ka na required. Ito, ito yung gusto ko eh. Hindi na, hindi ka, you're, you're under no compulsion to give. Uh, it, it, it just flows naturally from, from being selfish to selfless. And you just feel, parang ang sarap ng pakiramdam na nagbibigay. Wala na yung, wala na yung sakit ka. Babalikan ko lang experience ko kanina, Father Day, sa family and, and Brother Peter. Uh, kapag, yan, pinag-uusapan, uh, 
kumakain ka ba, Brother Peter, ng bangus? Yeah. Ano yung favorite part mo? Yan. <laughs> Yan. Parehong-pareho kami among deo ni, ni Brother Peter. Eh. Pero sabi ko nga kanina, eh, ako eh, personal experience ko, Brother Peter, pag meron ng anak na may gusto rin ng chan, ay talagang gigive up mo na yan. Kahit gustong gusto mo pa. Pero at some point, matututunan mo mong kainin, Father Deo, yung hindi chan. Kasi nga, it, it gives you so much joy to to give to your children or to kahit hindi mo pa anak. Uh, it, it, it comes to a point na hindi na masakit, masaya ka nang nagbibigay. Nang, nang, uh, nang, uh, uh, selflessly, voluntarily, at darating sa punto ngayon. Ako po mong uh, uh, attorney, I know uh, a, a particular person very close to me na you know, uh, the moment they joined El Shaddai and uh, they're living in the abroad. And uh, talagang they make it a point to give 10% of their income. Uh, and re- recently, uh, naka-winfall yung kilala ko yun. And uh, I was amazed kasi when he was uh, asking me to help give out yung uh, share niya sa, sa iba-ibang ano, uh, donations niya. He was really computing at 10%. percent <laughs> no? Wow. So, uh, sabi ko, and uh, looking at this person, hindi in, naman siya ganun kagandahan yung uh, financial standing niya. Uh, probably, yun na nga yung point na dumating na siya dun sa, it doesn't hurt anymore. Yeah. When in fact, you know that it's hurting because uh, they're not officially, they're not uh, financially well off. Yeah. yeah that's good. In fact, uh, we could look at this from the perspective of a culture, a culture of giving, a way of being generous. Like, for instance, on the practical side, no? there are people, organizations, and communities who set aside resources and uh, time for sharing. Halimbawa, giving as a part of our budget. Uh, tithing, giving an example, tithing, for instance, as a religious way of life or an individual or a family can offer a certain amount for the church or the, uh, the apostolates of the church. For companies, pwede rin, kahit na business ventures, alam ni, ni Attorney Bonta, Jesse Peter, na they, it's, it's financially safe, it is calculated, it does not hurt, and uh, they call this sometimes uh, corporate social responsibility. Yeah. Para giving back to the community giving back to the society which gave them the business. This becomes official. This is even measured, scheduled, plan as an activity. Yeah. They even have social workers to, to, to help them do this in a, in a professional way. Yeah. Living through the principles of social development. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Father Deo, ngayon, ngayon po nabanggit yung, yung corporate social responsibilities. Uh, sa mga ating nanonood na kikinig sa Men of Light, uh, sa corporate setup, uh, and I'm sure Brother Peter knows this, it's called CSR. Yes. Diba? CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility. Meron po akong kakilalang kumpanya na nagsi-CSR sila, Brother Peter and Father Dale. Pero walang, it's not published. It's not, they don't put it on social media. They don't. They just, they just do. The company just wants to give back, sabi nga ni Father Day, ako na yung term na ginamit niya. Pero walang, walang hinihinging, hinihinging parang ma-recognize kami sa social media or something. And I find that really amazing. Talagang, para sa akin, uh, ako kasi matagal ako sa social action. Tapos yung background ko pa, yung development, development management. Parang, kasi pwede, yung pagbibigay natin, it could it could also hurt people that could make them dependent yeah uh, kaya kanya meron tayong approaches na we help you help yourself para ganun tinutulungan ka namin pero tulungan mo yung sarili mo and we that we can do that very professionally yeah. and even in our chapel peter diba meron tayong scholarship sa chapel natin sa St. Joseph the Work and uh meron kami certain percentage dun sa uh, sharing namin from the funds of the chapel that are set aside for a year and they will be used for scholarship and allowances ng mga bata. And you talaga, no questions na yun. Sabi na, hindi ko lang kung next year lilipad din ako, 
uh, we, we, we set aside pagka sanang matapos yung mga batang naupisahan natin on the four years ago. And uh, in that way, we can continue to give. It's already part of our budget, our plan, whether in personal and religious. And we give until it no longer hurts. Misan, pwede kayo. Hindi kayo mag-asawa. Magtabi kayo ng certain amount. Then, pag may lumapit, meron kayong dinutukot. And that's not fair. And we know it's good for itself. And we, sabi nga ni Atty. Bo, idagdag natin yung, it, it does not have to be publicized. Hindi mang kailangan ni selfie natin mo, tsaka natin ni post. No? <laughs> it does, that's not part of our Christian life anyway. So, balik, balik po tayo sa ating reflection mamaya. Ito yung mas maganda. <laughs> Give until it is the source of your joy. <laughs> yung parang pagingaw ng bibigay, tapos nagpasalamat, ang sasagot mo lang, the pleasure is mine. Because totoo naman, masaya ka sa ginagawa mo. Babalik po over the flight after a few moments. Welcome to Men of Light for the third part of our reflection. This is the highest level of giving for me. <laughs> it's that when we give, and it's that giving that is the source of our joy. And uh, I think uh, this should be the, the real, the, the highest level of sharing, if I may say, because sharing as a source of joy, it should be defined from the perspective of service and love. Detach to it, kumisang parang mahirap. So, pa hindi ta pleasure. Parang pa may tinulungan ka, tapos sagot mo lang, the pleasure is mine. Talaga lang, ako, huwag ka magpasalamat. Masaya ako sa ginagawa. Because giving more than what is expected. Like like that woman, the woman who was, ano uh, ito, a widow. Maybe it was more than what was expected. I don't know if she's joyful about it, but at least, sabi, heaven, the heavens will be very happy. Or, or what she has given, kahit na coins lang, ha? hindi pinag-uusapang marami, kaya masaya ka nagbibigay. It does not question kung magkano, kahit hindi naman tayo ganun kalamin din na binibigay. As long as it is really from the heart. Counting without the cost. Truly happy people are those who are find pleasure in helping others and sharing their time, their talents and their treasure. And actually, sa Alay Kapwa, yung program na Alay Kapwa sa simbahan, ito yung motto nila eh. Sharing our time, our treasure, and our talents. Sabi, sabi nga, you can give without loving. Di ba? Pwede naman. No, na, but you cannot love without giving. Yes. Uh, Brother Peter and Father Deo, nabanggit na rin ni Father Deo yung widow. No? I, just, I just read somewhere while, while, uh, while I was reflecting on our uh, Men of Light episode today. Yung palang time na to yung nagbibigay sa treasury came uh, was a point where the Temple of Jerusalem yata was being rebuilt. No? So so but but uh, ang ang nakaka nakaka-amaze dito sa gospel. Ang nagbigay is a widow sabi nga ni Father Deo kanina no. But under the Mosaic law and 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 even during Jesus's time, widows were supposed to be cared for. Pero itong widow na to baligtad, kasi nga yung, sa part rin natin, it's become, probably has, has become a source of joy for this widow na kahit na she should be cared for under Mosaic Law, siya na ngayon caring for others at lalabas lang to kung talagang giving has become a lifestyle and, and it becomes a source of joy for you. Masaya ka lang na walang hinihintay na kapalit. That's wonderful. That's a good insight, huh? Yung, in the context of giving is for the construction of the temple and I'm sure it took more than 40 years sabi nga yata on one side and I will destroy it in three days I will build sabi ni Jesus pero 40 years ha? and that contribution really matters yeah. uh, Brother Peter, among, yes among, yeah, attorney, uh, I, I know of a person na uh, taga San Bartolome Paris in Magalang no? she's a widow uh, I knew her when she was about 50 years old and uh she has only a, a lone son. No? Mag-isa lang yung anak niya. And uh, I remember how she donated part of her 
a small piece of land kung saan nakatayo yung bahay niya to build a chapel no wow uh, near sa barangay niya and sabi ko napaka this, probably these are the type of people na talagang walang inihinging kapalit no? it's just that they they find joy in 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 sharing and in giving okay. Yeah. yeah. Sabi nga ni Mother Teresa, sabi ni Saint Mother Teresa, it's not how much you give, mm-hmm. but how much love you put mm-hmm. into the giving. Mm-hmm. In- parang dito, parang natanggal na yung amount eh. Mm-hmm. Of course, yung parang in reference to your wealth, kung nagbigay ka ng 1,000, 10,000, depende, kung mayaman ka naman, that's a small fraction mm-hmm. to the the whole uh, assets that you have. Yeah. That's when the poor give themselves their time, even, no? kahit na yung mga volunteers natin, yung able bodies, yung time, I think we would understand that uh, that is also very valuable. And it could be the source of our giving, the joy of our giving. Yeah. Yung kailangan mag tayong hesitant na ay, yung mayama lang ang nagbibigay. This gospel uh, proves that wrong. Hindi yeah. lang siya naman bibigyan. Uh, hindi po sa magtataas ako ng bangko namin ni Brother Peter, no? uh, Father Deo. Pero nabanggit kasi ni Father Deo kanina, even the me- yung, hindi lang naman material na no, among Deo no, ang pagbibigay. And, and it, can, it can be in the form of time. Like Brother Peter, for example, is a businessman. And I'm sure when we do this, this takes his time away from his business. And yet, kung tatanungin mo sigurado ko si Brother Peter, why he's doing this, wala siyang mabibigay talaga na concrete reason why. Basta masaya lang siya. Tama ba, Brother Peter? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> diba? Yung, yung, yun, yun, it's something that you cannot explain. Uh, kahit ako, tanungin, tanungin ako, misang binibiro nga ako, Brother Peter and Father Deo, uh, palagi daw ako nakikita sa Men of Light. Ang sabi sa akin, isang abogado, Pari ka na ba? Hindi ka na ba abogado? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, 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 they becomes a, a joke. Pero pag ako tatanungin mo, Brother Peter, bakit ko ginagawa ito for men of light, for daylight? Wala akong sagot. Basta masaya lang ako. Ito, ito na yung part three na face na sinasabi ni Father Deo. Uh, kung, uh, it, you, pwede sabihin mo na parang, parang nasiraan na ba ito ng bayot? Pero actually, <laughs> hindi mo, when you give it to the Lord, it's a source of joy talagang bigyan mo ng todo-todo. Toto. Uh, kaya nga, si, kahit si Atty. Bong, uh, si Brother Peter, tsaka si pati Brother Joey, dati nga si, si Dr. Net, bukan they give time. Alam naman yung oras na abogado, ano yan, mayroon na. May fee. Sa mga doktor, may doktor's fee. Yung parang mayroon silang, I mean, our time is equal to a certain amount of money. We're not just uh, enjoying ourselves here, but we're giving so much of value to what we we believe is wonderful. Sa kapampangan, maganda eh. Yung kapampangan na salita. Yung mga nanonood po ng Men of Light na hindi, taga, hindi kapampangan. Yung kapampangan term for life is B-I-E. B-I-E. And you know the kapampangan term for life? Forgive. Forgiving. So, forgiving. Forgiving. To give. Is bie. Yung salitang buhay ay bie. Ang salitang bigay, pagbibigay ay bie. Parang ganda. No? It's not, I think that's not only incidental or accidental na ganyan. Because Jesus himself offered himself, not of a certain sum of money, wala namang pera si Jesus. No? Not because of the wealth, like the scribes who were so wealthy in the gospel, or the coins of the widow, but he offered his life. As a ransom for many. And this death was the same ultimate sacrifice of giving, the cross. And uh, later on, it became a source of joy of his resurrection, the victory of the cross, giving your time, your care, your attention. I could see that in our apostolate of men of light, from the many daylight the time you gave, mga kasama sa ating community, you give yourself for service. It's a real source of joy our mission and our pride. It gives us identity to go beyond financial and material contributions, of course. It's the source of joy of our Christian way of life. Ito po ang Men of Light, and sana makatulong po sa reflection ninyo for, to appreciate our Sunday Mass, 
our Sunday Gospel. And I'm sure you have more ideas to contribute in this wonderful Gospel. Pagbabalik po, Men of Light, for our Facebook messages, our birthday celebrants, uh, celebrate, uh, uh, greetings, uh, the prayer of uh, Brother Ayatoni Bo. And uh, at, uh, please stay with us for the last gap of Men of Light. Thank you for staying with us until this point of our reflections. This is a man of light. Nasa last part of our reflections on our uh, 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 gospel na po? Uh, 30 seconds Sunday. Malapit na po yung end time na, ng ating uh, advent. Malapit na po. And uh, within this uh, coming weeks, at kaya po yung ating gospels from Mark chapter 12, 30 to 14, reflections on giving. And for this last part, uh, Brother Peter will be uh, reading some of our birthday celebrations. At kung mayroong feedbacks from our community, can also give a summary and assignment. And uh, Brother Bong will uh, lead us with our final prayer. Brother Peter, please. Uh, we have, uh, we'll be reading two comments uh, from the Facebook uh, page. This one is coming from Elizabeth Kuraming. Sabi niya, Amen. Thank you for that instruction in life. It makes sense. Everything is temporary. May we have a meaningful exit on earth and wonderful entrance on life eternal in God's kingdom. Uh, another one also coming from uh, Dora Lopez. Uh, sabi po niya, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Through all the years I've been following MOL daily reflections, you always give your peace on death's preparation. Some may find it morbid, but I thank you for helping us face death, as we really don't know when it will come. Yeah. And for our birthday celebrators, uh, for November 10 to 16, uh, we'll start off with you, mga Pampanga clergy. Uh, on November 10, po, it will be the birthday of Father Emil Dizon. And November 12, Father Raymond Reyes. November 16, Father John Paul Morales. And of course, on November 13, Father Jonathan Bartolome. And we also would like to greet uh, volunteers. Uh, on November 10, we have Rose Garcia, yung secretary ng Holy Cross Parish. Also on the same day, Dr. Eder Dizon. On November 11, Leo Ko from St. Jude. And uh, on November 14, we have Joyce Takdol, a volunteer from St. Joseph. And on November 16, we have Michael Garcia. Yes. Happy November 13, actually, ano yun eh? 25th anniversary. Uh, so, pare, ordination ni uh, Father Jonathan Bartolome. Congratulations. Happy, uh, happy silver uh, anniversary on your priesthood, Father John. That's a quarter of a century priesthood. <laughs> More to come in our service. Ang ating pong uh, summary, reflection, ang ating... Uh, uh, reflections on giving. The truth is, it's not an instinct to, uh, it's not really natural. Sa, niya, sa ating survival instinct design, uh, design uh, that we will be giving. Sometimes we have the concept of keeping and safekeeping for our survival. Parang basic, basic instinct. But later on, uh, we give until it hurts because, kumisan, lalo na, hindi parang natural sa, sa tao nagbigay. Sa, no? At kaya nga po, uh, our Christian faith would guide us towards this. Yung una talaga, masakit, masakit talaga. At saka naniniwala tayo, we don't believe in uh, tinatawag na tokenism, token, token, giving out of, parang lang makapagbigay. No? Parang bibigay ng bariya para sa mga. It's not that that we really uh, invite people. If we give until it hurts, it hurts until the parang it really matters. Yun. Kailangan yung binibigay mo. Parang pag nagbibigay ka ng t-shirt, gusto mo rin. Sige ka ng pagkain, gusto mo. Gusto mo rin yan. Pero it's not because binibigay mo dahil hindi mo na gusto. Kaya hindi mo na kasya, ayaw mo na. Yan, that's, that's not really serious giving. Give until it hurts and then give until it no longer hurts. 
Kumisan ay pagbibigay. It could already be the part of our culture, sa pamilya, our individual life, sa simbahan. Meron tayong tithing, no? Parang it's really structured giving that uh, nakasama na sa budget natin yan. Parang hindi na natin pinag-uusapan. Even organizations, they already designed their their social service, their tinatawag na corporate social responsibility as part of their mission, as part of their giving back to their community. And it does not hurt anymore. <laughs> and lastly, ang pangarap sana natin na our giving will be the source of our happiness and joy. Uh, it's no big deal. Hindi na masakit. Hindi, hindi, na, hindi na something that we want to be recognized. Kahit walang nakakakita, kahit hindi nang napansin. But still, we give. And uh, in that way, we give glory to God. And that way, we realize our real mission in life. Ang assignment po natin, why don't we challenge ourselves to give more? That uh, meron akong nabasa, sabi, in our life here on earth, may we give more at the end, more than what we receive. Siyempre, sa buhay natin, may tayong tinatanggap. At sana we can participate in the giving in terms of not only financial and not only material, but when we could give our time, our, our attention, and our care for others. And in, in this way, we can also make ourselves happy ultimately in a positive way. Ayun po si Atty. Bong Roque. He will lead us in our prayer and uh, let us be led by Atty. Bong with his prayer. Let us ask for the Spirit of the Living God to lead us into prayer and to be grateful for these reflections on giving. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My Heavenly Father, once again, I find myself drawn to your voice, resonating through the story of the poor widow in the Gospel, who gave her two small coins to the temple treasury, not from abundance, but from the depths of her need surrendering even the last remnants of her hope. As I reflect on her selfless act, I cannot help but see how starkly different I am from her. I confess that I have often given with strings attached, and I recognize the countless times I have offered gifts while secretly expecting something in return. In a world that frequently equates generosity with gain, I cry out to you, have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. I have much to learn about true giving, about offering freely, even when I feel I have little left to give. So I beg you, dear Lord, to cleanse my heart of any ulterior motives. Help me to loosen my grip on worldly possessions and to learn what it means to be genuinely generous. From here on, may my giving arise not from a desire for recognition or for the sake of corporate social responsibility, but from a place of pure love and compassion. As I learn to be more generous, may you, O Lord, look beyond the size of my gift and see the love that fills my heart and my unwavering trust in your providence. O my Jesus, you gave your all, your very life, for my sake. You held nothing back, even when it meant enduring suffering and sacrifice. Your love was unconditional, 
flowing freely from the depths of your heart. Now, help me to live that same spirit of giving and grace, to love without limits, and to serve without expecting anything back. Father, I deeply desire to reflect your image in my life. So answer the prayer of my heart, for I ask this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you for this wonderful giving, this wonderful time of sharing. And uh, really, we felt complimented with our efforts, uh, Tony Bong and uh, Brother Peter. And of course, our ever faithful and effective, efficient uh, Father Jonathan, our, our uh, the man behind the, the camera. So, ito po si Father Day. God bless us. It was a wonderful sharing. Especially the prayer of uh, Tony Bong, and may we continue to find joy in giving. Ito po si Brother Peter Hanson. Maraming salamat din. Bong Roque po. Be blessed and be a blessing.